Remote deposit is just one of many convenience tools offered by Prime Meridian Bank. This video is a step-by-step -step guide to using remote deposit. Your Prime Meridian Bank representative will show you how to set up the scanner and how easily it can be moved to other workstations or even other locations. Remote deposit by Prime Meridian Bank allows you to deposit checks conveniently from your place of business. No more trips to the bank. Submit your deposits at your pace and at a time that fits your schedule. You never need a deposit slip. Remote Deposit virtually endorses each check for you. Prefer to link multiple Prime Meridian Bank accounts using Remote Deposit? No problem. Your representative will be glad to set that up for you. Doing research on items previously deposited? That's easy with Remote Deposit. Simple search and reporting features are available for deposits made, including images of the items. OK. Let's get started. This video will show you how to deposit checks using Prime Meridian Bank Remote Deposit Now. To access the Remote Deposit Portal, open your Prime Meridian Bank desktop icon. Enter the username, password, and company. To access Remote Deposit Now, select the Transactions tab from the menu bar or select the Remote Deposit hyperlink to launch the Remote Deposit Portal. The home page lists the last 60 days worth of messages, as well as batches ready for edit, batches ready for deposit, and recent deposits. To begin scanning, select Scan from the top of the page. Click Start at the bottom of the screen. A prompt for the expected total of the deposit appears. Complete the field with a two decimal place number and select OK. If you do not know the expected total, you may click OK through the prompt. Place the checks in the scanner and click Start to scan the checks through the scanner. If the scanner jams or double feeds a check, the scanning will stop. When ready, continue scanning by clicking Start again. When the checks have finished scanning, Click the next tab at the top, Batch Edit, which will prompt you to save the batch. The batch items appear on the next screen. Use the left and right navigational arrows at the top of the check images to view the different items within the batch. There are several different ways to edit the items, along with additional data that can be entered for each check. From the Batch Edit page, compare the numbers on the bottom of the page to those on the bottom of the checks. Routing number, on us account number, check number, and amount. Any fields on the batch edit page that are incorrect or left blank must be entered manually. From this page, you can enter the account number and invoice number for the check item. Although entering data into these fields is not required, this information will reflect in the RDN reporting tool to help identify deposited items. To delete an item that is scanned, select Delete Item at the bottom of the Edit Batch page. The system will prompt for a confirmation of deleting an item. In the drop-down menu at the top of the page, the expected total entered and the actual total counted are displayed. There are three icons in the top right corner of the page that will assist you in editing the scanned items. The pencil item displays items that need editing one at a time. Any items needing a MICA repair will display in red. The eye icon displays a proof amount. The system will display the dollar amount of the items as read by the scanner. The list icon displays items in a list. The icon displays the MICR line and the amount of each item in the sequence they were scanned. A pencil icon to the left of an item indicates that edits are needed for that item. Selecting any one item in the sequence will show its image and information available for editing on the left side of the page. If a check has been scanned twice within the past 75 days, a duplicate check warning will display on the top left corner of the Batch Edit page. Duplicates will not prevent you from making a deposit. However, they will have to be reviewed by the bank's operations team before the deposit can be processed. You may be contacted by one of the bank's operations representatives if there are any questions about the duplicate item.
select Save at the bottom of the page when all edits have been completed, or click the Make Deposit tab at the top to move forward. Once the message, All Batch Items Have Been Edited and the Batch Is Ready for Deposit, displays on the Batch Edit page, you are ready to submit your deposit. To submit a deposit, select the Make Deposit option at the top of the page. A list of open batches that have not yet been submitted appears. Select the checkbox next to the deposits that you are ready to submit. You may also select Select All to select all open deposits. If necessary, select the account location to send the deposit from the Deposit Account drop-down box. Batches can only be submitted to one account location at a time. To submit a deposit to a different location other than the one selected, you must first finish your current deposit submission. After you have selected your batches and deposit account, click Make Deposit at the bottom of the page. A deposit confirmation message appears, stating that the deposit was successful, with the receipt number and two different report options. You have the option to view both reports, which can be saved or printed for record keeping. Once you are ready to move on, select OK. An example of the deposit image report is shown. If you close out of the reports and need access to them afterwards, you can access the reports by clicking Reports from the menu bar, selecting the type of report, and then the date. To delete a batch, select the Tools menu and then Delete Batch. The Select Batches to Delete window appears. Highlight the batch you wish to delete and select Delete Selected. You may also opt to select all batches to delete. A prompt asking you to confirm deleting the batch will appear. Select Yes to continue. After deleting a batch, select the Home link at the top of the page. At the bottom right corner, select Refresh to update the page. Deleted batches will no longer display as either Ready for Edit or Ready for Deposit. Select the View Deposits link at the top of the page to view batch or item information. A list of deposits appears. To narrow your list of deposits, select a Begin Date and an End Date at the bottom of the page. Select Refresh at the bottom of the page to view the deposits within the date range. To view the front and back of a check, click on the Front and Back tabs at the top of the image. To print the deposit details, select one of the several options for printing. Select Print to print both the front and the back of the check that is currently highlighted. Select the drop-down menu next to Print and click Print All to print the front and back images of all the items in the deposit. Select the drop-down menu next to Print and click Print All Fronts to print only the front images of all the items in the deposit. To look for a specific item in the RDN application, select Search from the top of the page. To search for a specific item, complete the search criteria fields displayed. For a range of items between certain dates, complete only the Begin Date and End Date fields. Select the Search link from the bottom of the page. The search results appear. Select an item to print or hold the Shift button on your keyboard to highlight multiple items in the list. Select Print Current to print the front and back images of a highlighted item. To print the front and back images of a range of highlighted items, select the drop-down menu next to Print Current and select Print Selected. We hope this video gives you a better understanding of how to use Prime Meridian Bank Remote Deposit Now to deposit checks. For more information, please visit our website at trymybank.com.